What's good, take your holders? We back with some more trailer reactions right here. Yes, all this the time. one. This one was recommended to. Oh my bad. It's my boy Ronald Joe Genji. You guys don't remember him? It's Ronald Joe Genji. <laughs> Movie hoppers, man. What's good, take so, holders? Uh, good to be back. What was that? Couple of uh, subscribers, ticket holders out there recommended we do a trailer reaction to this one. I never knew it even actually existed. That's a real shit. I heard a little bit about it, but I didn't, you know, I, I didn't look into it, but I know it has something to do with X Men or something like that. Yeah, and when you speak on that, I knew something, like when I saw it, I was like Legion, I didn't know. And then yeah. I saw Marvel Legion, I was like, mm -hmm. okay, I I don't really know much about a character. I know I the character itself, I don't really know much about it, but this show. Marvel is doing such a good job in recreating these characters on television. Right. I feel like that's all I need. Modernizing them. I won't, like I won't even probably look. I mean, I'm going to look up information on them. But usually I go back and read up on them a little bit deeper and everything. Like, but I think Marvel's going to do such a good job with this character. Yeah. So let's look at this trailer and see what we're in for. And it's on FX. So that's oh, great network. That's like being on Netflix. Yeah. So that's tight. FX is doing it big. Marvel doing it big. <laughs> Just tell me what happened next. Red actor. Look. I don't know. It's fuzzy. You had a communication. Why? Uh, we were just looking for the truth. We can promise the time. I told you he took her. City Star, the girl who disappeared. Wait, my name. Okay. Power, I think. Can you explain that? So is he crazy or continue? He believes he's meant to live. This dude has powers, G. Maybe the most powerful youth we have encountered. Can we take a break? Please, of course. He's a mutant, G. Uh, we can skip that part. Unless you think it's relevant to no. Okay. Let's talk about it. I got my girl in here. Look at me, I know what I am. What's that? They put that X in the middle, bruh. Early this... 2017. Okay. So probably about March. That's that's sweet. That's a perfect time. That's a great time. Why is Marvel doing such a good job with television? And you know what it is? I think that they just realized we found the way they, we found like an outlet to expand characters. They don't have to just because you introduce them in one outing you mean they can't be over here or over here or over there. So they're kind of building foundations in different areas, but somewhat tying it. Ticket holders, Ronan. It's Jimmy just though. you know, I, I need a cigarette. I'd be like, uh, uh, what's his name? Um, on <laughs> CNN, what's his name? Larry King. Larry King. Oh, I like Larry King. <laughs> you know, so um, you know, but real stuff. Marvel is bringing these characters on television, and so did DC, right? Yeah. And I'm not ragging on anybody. I'm just comparing what what we see in. But their shows aren't cheesy. Oh. It's legit. It's like a great drama. No cheese. You beat me to the punch. No Velveeta. <laughs> no craft. No generic. No government. None of that. It's legit. Great. A quality. Television. In a, in a Marvel universe. Yeah. But then you get, and I, I like, I like some cheese. I like cheese on my crackers. I like cheese on bread. I like cheese on my burger. I like cheese on my pizza. I love it on, I love it on my spaghetti. Tight. But not always on my shows. Gotcha. Especially with characters that I know can really go in depth. Yeah. Like the cheese is ruined Arrow for me. The cheese is ruined the Flash for me. I dropped the ball. I enjoy it. And I know it's cheese. Yeah, you understand it. But it's too much too of much it. Too much of it, yeah. Like, why they can't make that like that? Daredevil was dope. Jessica Jones was dope. This is going to be dope. There, and that's another problem because certain certain uh, networks allow that freedom. I think Netflix is in a place where they can they uh, they can gamble. Cause real spit, DC FX can do can it. Gamble. 
they could yeah. do it because Constantine yeah. was at that level. Yeah. That was Lord, one of the few. I didn't want to watch that. Yeah. But I great saw show. it. And what I saw of it was good. And just people know it was great. Evil. That's why CW's trying to pick it up now. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. Don't do that. You know why? Yeah. They're going to have old molded cheese on it. And yeah. it's going to be garbage. But it should never been on NBC though. I understand why they did it. it. No, it could have been on NBC. It's just evil. And yeah. I understand. Like they have preachers. They have preachers. Too late. I hear preachers a good show. Preachers good. It's realistic, but it's on an evil note, so yeah. I can't even watch it and enjoy it. I feel you. So won't you give me just give us some characters that can do that? Like I would love to see. You guys have to watch that. Yeah, no episode because I got some episode. I got some, and All I right. think they're trying to get there. But Marvel's really doing it big, and the information that I have right now. Make sure you take a look at my next episode. What we're gonna do. I'm gonna spill some beans on it, but let's get back on Legion. This looks freaking amazing. I'm sold. FX, I was gonna cancel my internet. I was gonna cancel my cable, bruh. I was gonna cancel that shit. I was like, you know what? They, they, they're getting rid of my regular show, hmm. and there's really no point in watching cable. That's all I watch on cable is regular show. Yeah. I watch regular show, I watch Clarence, I watch Steven Universe, <laughs> I watch, uh, 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 Adventure Time, which I haven't been showing around well, a while. My daughter watches Teen Titan Go, and I watch uh, uh, Gumball. Okay. I watch cartoons. So you got his little segments too, man. Yeah, I watch my sci-fi, AMC, L Ray Network, awesome channel. Yeah, and I watch yeah. you know MTV Two when they show Martin and, and the course. Wayne Brothers and yes. Jamie Fox show. I watch that stuff, but that's all I really watch. Everything else I have on my computer. Mm -hmm. So I was gonna cancel that, but damn, I'm gonna have to keep it. Man, uh, Legion, like what I got from the, the little teaser trailer that we gave it, it kind of felt like a, a documentary from a mutant perspective. Yeah. His point of view yes, of the world. Yes. I was yes. like, wow. Almost like a tell him, channel. Tell him, tell him. You know what I mean? Like a Discovery <laughs> Channel biography, a mockumentary, yes. but with a realistic take on it. A biography from a mutant's point of view of the world and what he's struggling through and then showing his powers yes. along the way. I'm feeling that. That's great. I'm feeling that. This is this with drama on it. It's a sci-fi drama about a mutant in today's society. Yes. Gang. This looks really dope, <laughs> man. This is gonna be great, man. You know, the bad thing about this whole thing about Legion, they're not gonna show all 13 episodes. So I can't binge it. Man. I'm gonna be pissed because I gotta wait a whole week. Especially the and episode that's, what's that's hard slow. The shows for me. Like, that's hard. Like, because I have to save up five episodes to make it feel like a film. It's gonna feel like a film, but when I watch shows now, like I, there's this thing that I kind of say in my head usually, like I, I treat it like a movie because it feels like a movie. Yes. And I'm not saying that by mistake. Even when we did our Stranger Things review, I was like, it was a film. Stranger Things type. It felt like a movie. Like I was invested. I didn't have to wait weekly. But it was so much story, so much, so much meat in those characters in that world. It's like you didn't have to wait. It's like we're getting answers here, and you wanted to keep going. That's a good sign. This right here is going to be a lot of characters, but we're going to be focusing on this one character. It's X-Men, but it's not X-Men. It's not like, oh, hey, guys, it's X-Men. But it's in that world, but I like that approach because it's not show and tell. You know, you know the, the cool thing about it, him, him being a mutant, as, as they say on here. Great actor, too. They're going to refer a lot about X-Men, and I feel that right. I'm going to get some X-Men on here. Yeah. I might get a potential morph. We're gonna, they're going to do some, some things that the movies never have done. See what I'm saying? They're going to. They're I going think, to. I think I'm gonna get a morph, bro. I think I'm gonna get some simple mutants, not the main, main, main. Right. But I'm gonna get some mutants on here, man. I, I like that. I, I like that kind of stuff. I like just little things in here and there. It just sounds real dope, man. Uh, We're gonna go to Xavier School, get the mutants. We're gonna see other mutants that they really don't focus on. So, bro, they're gonna shut the 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 head. <laughs> they're so gonna get some shine. <laughs> The unknown characters are gonna get some love. I would love to see the newspaper Magneto goes a havoc on people and, and just I would I, I that kind of stuff would make it really dope for me. And then the other character, uh, the female chick uh, actress, uh, Audrey Plaza, was that Jubilee? That was hanging around like next to the the main guy. And she looked, be, she they, looked like a Jubilee. Jubilee and I like her. Jubilee is more used than a. <laughs> She's kind of just there. They use that chick so much, man. She's like. She's been used so much, so many times, like and, never, and never, and never shows her anything. Maybe she'll get that treatment in Legion, because it was funny. Like, I they mean, I throw some X Men on that. Yeah, I think. I, I mean, I understand her character, but I mean, I like Jubilee. I, I take her for what she is. But if you give her some depth, throw all that other stuff out the window. 
Because if you look, look at it, they give this character and things around here, and then when Disney finally gets Marvel, yeah. with, you know, right. with exactly. the X-Men, then all they, limits are you, off. You could throw him in because yeah. he might end up being on a show with Ghost Rider. Right. That I hear they might get a show. You know what I'm saying? Or Blade or something. He might be at a. He's going to be on Agents of the Shield? Oh, man. Man, dude, bruh. Now, now I've got to go back and watch Agents of the Shield. Now I watched the first couple episodes Season and I didn't three. like it. Don't. So I gotta give this one another shot because Marvel is doing it big, man. It's like they learned everything they need to learn about Agents of Shield and just got everything better. They say, you know what? We can't make this too campy. It can't be too TV. It has to be dark. And if you're a fan of the MCU and things like that, and you're just like one of those people that don't want to see this ongoing story end, and you want to see it continuously go on, their universes are so connected, it's not even funny. Mm -hmm. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was right there with the Winter Soldier and the Hydra and all that conspiracy theory. The Netflix shows, they're all right there in New York. Tell them, man. The MCUs are crossing everything over. Kind of, kind of like a James Bond thing, like, this character comes here, this character comes here, and at the end of the movie, they'll let you know, this character will return. That's tight, it's like a never-ending book. It's, it's dope. They really treat it, they, they, they really, uh, and Netflix is about to really open it up with the Iron Fist and the Luke Cage. And They're they, about to go to Kowloon. Bruh, it's a wrap. And then the Defenders going to have their own show too. The Street Level Avengers. Gang. Bruh, it's, it's over, man. <laughs> it's over, man. Like yeah. that right there just really destroys everything. I know what DC is so trying to do that. with the, you know, the uh, the Legend, uh, Legends of Tomorrow and stuff yeah. like that. But I, I'm going to give that second season a chance. I like the Legends. You know what? Where, where Flash and Arrow were feeling, I think Legends was kind of great for me. Just... The time travel aspects, and then like you said, those world characters, like people I didn't know too, you know too much about and weren't too familiar with. I just didn't like the choice of villain that they have that's leading the show. But the overall characters, I like how but they're going through different times. And not to not to shy away from it, but that's how we do. We talk, man. Yeah. We this is a discussion. Right, right. You know, Legends of Tomorrow, it has a lot of potential. Mm -hmm. But like you said, Vandal Savage is not a character that you need to be hopping time traveling to catch. For sure, because you can't beat him. And and it shouldn't be a time traveling thing. Mm -hmm. It really shouldn't. It should be a low level Justice League. Yeah. You need to have these characters, and I think Legends of Tomorrow should only be a two season thing, where it's like, I mean, excuse me, a two a a a, a movie, a television movie thing, for four hours. You get four episodes. I like that. You get it. You get uh, uh one week. You get you get all through eight. 10, 8, 9 o'clock slot. Yeah. And then you get the second part. Okay. And you get like four, about eight episodes. That's interesting. But it, make it in a movie. Made for that. TV movie, yeah. Made for, they need that. to be a made for TV movie. That way you can throw Arrow, Flash, everybody in there. That used to be an event back then. They don't do that no more. Made Bruh, for that, TV that, events? That, that would be tight. I and like that. only lead them like that because they're boring as hell. Yeah. Because the, you have, it's like, if you're not, that team has so much power, what do you go against? Right. Because yeah. you don't have the money to fund the powers. You got me there. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So they need to be in two-part movie type deal. You know what I mean? And, and show the crossover. Like Supergirl's showing up now. And you got Star Spangled Girl coming now. You got Hawk Girl. You got you got, uh, uh, you got got Heat Wave. You got Captain Cold. You got all these powers. Manhunter. Man, Martian yeah. Manhunter. Yeah. And, and you got all this shit going on. I think they're throwing Sandman in there. They're throwing oh, Visual wow. Anti on there. Sandman is dark. I think heck. the Shiny Knight's coming. I think wow. they're going to end up having Jonah Hill, Jonah Heck. You see what I'm saying? You're going to have all these characters on there. I like Jonah Heck. But Hicks. why? Yeah. They're going against Vandal Savage? Mm -hmm. Nah. You need somebody. You need that. That need to be a, a full freaking movie. Like, it needs to be a movie where the Flash needs to come because there's a freaking apocalypse coming or something or. or you know, that's when you go get Stephen Wolf or something. You need a villain that can maintain a movie as well as maintain a series. And, I got need, you. and this is real spit. I got you. If you're gonna put the Flash, Wally West, or Barry Allen, however you wanna call it, you wanna call it, you wanna put them in the movie. You need to cancel Flash. Because if you're not gonna incorporate both universes, Flash could have been perfect. And not saying choose Gustin. You could have chose somebody else, because both of them don't look like Flash to me personally. But I, I take it. But you get that guy who is movie bound, kind of like a Brandon Roof, yeah, and television bound, and make that your gap character. Like we need help, man. We need some help. Flash. Him. Well, it just said I could come help you guys out for this mission. Tight. See, I think what it was with DC, they've been they've been struggling with the Batman uh, factor for a long time. They've been trying to use him across him over so many times, 
and television, he was always kind of literally kept in the shadows, no pun intended. But I think it would have been great if Gotham was kind of able to cross over that universe because they tried to do it on Smallville. Yeah. But they didn't have the rights to use him. But they always mentioned him and they always showed Gotham City. You have, you're in a day and age now where you can do crossovers. Since you don't want to have your universe tied to the you know television and they're keeping the cinematic universe uh, separate, which is weird, but I understand. I guess I would have those different characters from different networks try to team up or right. something. Like having Gotham with that, since they're kind of you know young and up and coming, it would make sense. Mm -hmm. It's weird that they want to separate that, but I understand because it conflicts with what they're doing. Like you have a character here, Slade, for example. He's gonna be in a solo Batman movie. That's awesome. He was the best part of Arrow, but it's conflicting now because Slade is going on to bigger things. Mm -hmm. And that's what kills it. Who cares if he's on Arrow now? But Manny Bennett was great. Yeah, but so it's like we talk about that too. Yeah, 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 yeah. but you see where I'm going. Right, it's, right. it's conflicting, but there's always a way to do it. They just they haven't cracked the code yet. Right, right. There's always a way to do it. So back on Legions. Yeah, dope trailer. Can't wait to watch this series. Great trailer. If you guys know about the character, write down in the comments down below. Tell us what you guys thought about it. Sorry, you know, uh, we that's what we do, man. We talk, man. We keep it 100, man. You know, none of that bullshit. Yeah. We, we're not. You know, yes, yeah, it's, it's all good, and we know we want to say, we gotta say, we gotta say, we gotta say. Just like we would both, basically, you just saw us both sit here, watch this trailer, and that's yeah. how it ha that's how it happens. But anyway, but this material is so good, yeah. we, it, it raised the conversation. Yeah. That's how tight it was, yeah. and, and that's what you get on J Three Entertainment. Now, yes. like this video, subscribe to this channel. Thank you, ticket holders. I'm out, J Three. All right, Joe Genji. Peace, Peace. love. love. Ah.